of the really great things about being in Houston for International Quilt Festival is that you get to meet people from different countries and see astonishing work. And I'm here with Claudia File, right? Yes. File absolutely. on the computer. Like the computer file, right. From Germany. Yes. And yeah. so tell us where exactly in Germany? Um, I'm living at the western border, near close to the Belgium Netherlands border, and in Krefeld. Okay. And this is a fa famous town for silk and weavery, and ties for the men are produced several uh, centuries ago there. And and the first 13 families who moved with the boat to the U.S. were coming from Krefeld. There were many oh, really? needs. Yes. So we have a connection between Krefeld and the USA. So I hear silk. Silks? Silk. No. Yeah, I'm a fan of silk. Yes. Yeah. Well, you'll be able to see this in a minute when we're done talking. It's absolutely spectacular, this silk quilt. It's super heavy and it's got crystals all over. But before we get to that, yes. you... I was talking to your son before he's with you here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we know a lot. Oh, I'm getting scared. <laughs> <laughs> so you had a quilt shop, or how did you get started on this whole thing? I started textile design in Krefeld. Okay. Because of the history, Krefeld's history, we have a university over there. And I started textile design, and I was used to weave. Yeah. I was too. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't know that. Yep. And so, yeah, I was working several years uh, in a studio for painting and um, home furniture things. Mm -hmm. And then my... Adorable sons were born, <laughs> so I had to stop this, uh, yeah, this job. And uh -huh. I went at home and I searched my drawers, and I found those woven blocks I made at the university. Right. Then mm -hmm. I went with because I was running out of thread. I went to the sewing machine shop and um, yeah, and then I want, just wanted to buy thread for sewing, and uh, yeah, they offered me a mat. mat cutter and ruler brand new from the US it's 24 years ago and from there they asked me can you teach patchwork uh, sure I can self-confident face by no clue same here I'll teach you and I gotta go home and learn right yes <laughs> exactly so then the students asked me where do we get fabrics from so I started buying fabrics do you remember Debbie mom at those oh, days? Yes. Yeah, yeah so this, Debbie mom that so that started and 11 years ago I met with my quilt shop at a local uh, at a show in France, the APQS guys. Love and those I, guys. And I was hooked in a second. I was supposed to work in my shop booth, but I, like the magnetic thing, I was driven. No, I was going so to. So you've the only been on a long arm for like 11 years? Yes. Oh, man. Yes. So now I want to talk about this yes. because it's silk. It's all Dupioni silk, yes. So is that when you come here and teach? Because we just got her from a class. Are you are your students working with silk or how does your work I'm go? I'm teaching here long arm quilting. Oh, okay. But I'm considering to do something else in the future. Nice. With different uh, piecing projects, yes. Do you only work with silk? At home, not. But my show quilts are always done with silk. That is... Yeah. That is, I'm only doing one show quilt a year, so it takes a year and... Well, uh, yes, okay. Yeah. And so, um, any tips on working with silk? Don't be afraid. Just it, get it and use it, yes, huh? Yes, yes. It, it's fraying, yes. You should not move it too much. You should have a little more seam allowance, but I don't um, interface it. I was going to ask you, that. you don't put an interfacing nope. on it? And it nope. doesn't ravel on you? No. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, it ravels, but okay. you have to have a little bit more seam allowance. But for example, those pieces are paper pieced. So, and I'm using washable paper pieces, so I don't have to, uh, to or, take it out. Uh, to rip it off. So right. It washes out. So, do you pre wash your silk so that it doesn't really. No, I'm brave. Because I, I, I work with silk and I've heard you need. They are bleeding, yes. And yes, yes, it does bleed, it but does she doesn't bleed. care. No, because uh, you're not going to wash this quilt. No, but I'm blocking it. So, okay. So it's getting really wet, and I, that's the most scariest moment. <laughs> if the quilt is getting really wet on the floor, and then does it start to bleed? So especially, you, has it happened? Yes. Okay. What do you do? Cover it. Cry oh, really? So you just go put something else on top? No. Paint. But you paint. Did you do that on here? Yes. Where? <laughs> where? Or do you forget? No. I want to see where. Black and silk. Black and white is okay. the hardest part and the red is bleeding. But I cover, 
I'm telling secrets right That's now. That's okay because I've got a silk quilt at home. I'm scared to death to have laundered. Yes, I, okay. I, yeah. So this is a very hard contrast red mm -hmm. tones into black uh, into the white and it bleeded. So you just put paint in there? Mm -hmm. We like that. Yeah. I, and that's awesome. Now, you have like a, okay, this quilt, we're putting it up, weighs, I don't know, 50 pounds. Uh, not really, but it does. Yeah, it's, it's six quilt, kilos, yes. Yeah, was, what is that in pounds? Six kilos? 12, about 12 pounds. Wow. And so what about all the bling? Is that what brings it the weight, do you think? No, no. It's two layers of bedding. So okay. one layer of wool and one layer of silk on top. And the thread is weight, but this is thread. thread. Yeah. Silk thread, 100 weight silk thread. The crystals are just a little bit of a five, 300 gram. What's okay. a gram? I don't know. I don't know. I can't convert but like that. that. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay. But this are 30,000. So wow. I don't. I just count the leftovers, not the single ones. <laughs> so when you make something like yeah. this, do you have a complete plan, or do you just do you work oh. it out, or you just kind of let it grow? I let it grow. And the theme for this quilt was uh, optical illusions. Mm -hmm. And I started with the Fibonacci spiral. Mm -hmm. I, Google is my friend, so when, <laughs> when I'm hearing the theme of optical illusion, I just type it into the Google thing. And I came up with pictures of Fibonacci spiral. So I started here. And then I found Escher pictures and Vasarely, mm -hmm. the uh, walking blocks or right, whatever, right. in stairs. And I thought I make a block out of it. I made four of this and then I put them on my design wall and suddenly they were connecting. Oh my word. Color wise. Beautiful. So from then I have had the idea where to continue and then it was more a planning process but the beginning it was totally free. I love this. And I love this. And I love to play with colors. Well yeah. it's obvious and really truly silk gives you um, an attitude that you can't get any no. other way. It's just no. absolutely beautiful. I love batiks for my shop, uh -huh. but the silk is from... for So you the still have a shop? Oh, yes. Okay, and where is the shop again? In Krefeld. Okay, and what's the name of it? Quilt and Co. Oh, this is advertising. The, okay. Well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Quilt and Co. of the Ritterstrasse, near the station. So whenever you are coming to Germany, please visit me. I have a long arm studio as well, showroom. I'm teaching worldwide, and that's... it's. Everything what I'm doing is quilting, quilt related. Yeah, I don't know about that. No, <laughs> I can't believe that. Yeah, my yeah. kids can live with that, and um, yeah, they appreciate. They that. don't have a choice but to live with that. No, no, that's they are true. picking the silk out of the soup of the lunch. <laughs> if I'm working on a project like that, awesome. Yes. Hey, thank you so much for spending You're this welcome. time with us, and um, I appreciate. She's done teaching now. Yeah. Claudia gets to go all over the show and just kind of enjoy herself and be a regular guy. Yes, and I would love to see the quilts now and spoiling the vendors a bit. I yes. Have a long list. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thanks. rushing down because this thank was you. a tight connection for us to get her and thank you so much for watching. A plus this work. A plus. I, we couldn't let Claudia go, all right? Because we really need to talk about the quilting and and you ha you are saying some really important things. You're saying things that I say to my students. So let's just talk about the quilting design here because we can't learn enough about that. No. Right? Yes. So let, tell us what's going on in here. Um, I love to work to give the quilt, the the top an image and uh, more, um, yeah. Well, more it adds outcome. something to it, yes. yes. I love to work with the textures and I'm always working with contrast. Okay. Contrast is a design element. So let's talk about that. For example here, straight lines versus curved lines mm -hmm. is one main, main contrast. Here are my onions, which are very organic structure. So I'm using a kind of a ribbon candy outline. Mm -hmm. And here are very round curved lines as a contrast to the inner circle. So this is what I say to my students. I mix soft curve lines with straight lines or geometric yes. lines yes. and they play together so beautifully. Yes. Otherwise you would see nothing coming up. So like right in here, you've got these beautiful feathers. feathers mm -hmm. Versus straight lines. And I'm embellishing. That is another thing I love to do with couching threads. For example, this is Resol Desert and I'm couching it with a long arm nearly before the quilt is finished. So I really? kind of zigzagging around the resident 
Reso Dancer guiding with my left hand and just zigzag around it. So they, you tuck it in like yeah. underneath this area here? Yes, yes. Wow, okay, so when you do this quilt, wait a minute here. So you're saying you put this Razzle Dazzle on when it was on the frame? Yes, of course. Without of course I knew that. No, <laughs> no that, sorry, yeah, it's yeah. so normal wow. for me. Wow, so all of this, this was pieced and then all of this was added on the long arm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can. You can do so many things with the long arm. You can even piece. You can applique with the long arm. You just have to give it a try. Wow. It is. It's. It's your the pen. It's your medium in your hand. You just have to play without any fear. And as I told you, with the contrast, look at this floral border with a Greek meander. I'm calling that. Mm -hmm. Or here, even you can change the color. Over. The color in the border. This is plain black silk, but you can graduate with the thread choice and the design choice, straight lines versus curved lines, you can change the whole impact. Wow. Is it a surprise for you when you start putting the threads on it? Like, wow, I didn't know yes. that. Yes, nice. every time. The textures change the quilt completely. Nice. Yeah. So. And you travel all over the world yes. and teach. Yes. I would recommend a class with Claudia big time <laughs> and people are there going yeah that's right oh. so thank you again so much thank for hanging you. around thank you and Alex, have a wonderful rest of oh show. i love to be in houston thank you